so happy. It's Thursday, everyone. The suspense is amazing. It's going So welcome to the Computer Graphics and Visual Computing Conference 2018. My name is Bob Laramie. Might, some of you might know that already. The conference chair. I'm going to start with the end, so to speak, with my showing my gratitude um, and acknowledgments right at the beginning. So I would like to thank Hamish Carr, start by thanking Hamish Carr, the former Eurographics UK chapter chair for his great service for five-ish years, I believe, and then passing the torch on to Swansea University. I would like to thank Martin Turner, who is not here yet. Is he? I haven't seen him here yet. The finance chair for Eurographics UK, which is the organizing body for CGSC. I'd also like to thank somebody that's not here, Stephanie Benka. Stephanie Benka is somebody that like you never meet except for a few very privileged people. I think maybe there are two of these privileged people in the audience to meet Stephanie. David Deuce, anybody ever else ever meet Stephanie Benka? Probably not, but she is an uh, electronic proceedings wonder woman. She is responsible for putting all these PDFs together and creating the front matter and the pagination and the big text entries and making sure everything is stored in the Eurographics digital library and she is an amazing wonder woman, like an electronic wonder woman. And that is like an understatement. That is an understatement. Because this is just one of many Eurographics events that she works hard to prepare. I'd like to thank Gary Tam and Frank Vidal who are here. Okay, yep, Gary's here. Frank, where are you hiding? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the program chairs for putting together a very excellent and exciting program this year, which is, I'm really excited to, to see it. I'd like to thank the local organizing team. So that's Richard Roberts, Liam McNabb, Ayla Farad, Omni Nagore, and Mohammed Al Harbi, when Mohammed stepped in at the last minute, so I didn't uh, get his name on there, or after after I prepared the slides. So the, the, everything is running smoothly now because of them. Like otherwise, it wouldn't be running so smoothly. <coughs> I'd like to thank the program committee. So reviewing all those paper submissions is is quite a lot of work. And I even there's even a term for that. It's I've heard this term called reviewer stress. Has anybody else heard that term before? It's real, like getting too many papers to review in a very short time. And I, I have that stress every day, actually. <laughs> but anyways, I would like to thank very much the program committee for their hard work in reviewing all those paper submissions. And of course, I would like to thank all of those people that submitted a paper or a poster to the conference, otherwise it's not going to happen. I'd like to thank the sponsors. So CGVC was lucky enough to have some sponsors this year. The Computers Journal, Swansea University is a sponsor, Springer is a sponsor. So everybody say hi to the nice woman that's by the Springer desk and look at the Springer books and everything. Of course, Eurographics and KESS is also a sponsor of the Knowledge Economy Scholarships, Student Scholarships, I can't remember what it stands for actually, something like that, uh, based in Bangor actually. And of course, I'd like to thank everybody that's here today, so this is really going to be a very historic event, at least for Swansea University, and I think everybody will remember it for a long time actually. These things tend to stay in long-term memory, all these special conference events and things like that. 
So we had approximately, well, to the best of my knowledge, 41 submissions, if anybody's interested. And we, the program features 14, uh, sorry, 17 full papers and five short papers and eight posters. After the review process was finished, eight of those 41 submissions were invited to extend uh, their, their papers and submit to the computer's journal, so the journal versions of those, with the, under the special condition that there are no fees. So the computer's journal usually charges fees when you publish with them, but here these, these fees will be waived for this special issue. And yesterday I counted 43 registered delegates. That number is really uncertain. It's, it's, you would think that would be a certain number, but it's not. It's like chain going up and down every minute. <laughs> but I think it's 43. Anybody have like better information than that? <laughs> this is a nice little advertisement for the, one of our sponsors, the Computers Journal. So, Computers Journal will publish a special issue, selected papers from the Computer Graphics and Visual Computing Conference with special guest editors. And the deadline for submitting those papers is the 15th of December, 2018. There were eight, eight invitations sent out for this. However, if, if you submitted a paper and you would still like to submit extended for this special issue, I encourage you to think about it and talk to Gary and Frank or myself about that because it's not exclusive to just the, the people that have been invited. Like theoretically anybody in the world could submit something to that special issue. But if everybody in the world did that, it would be hard to review them all. So. <laughs> This is what the program looks like. It is, it's a busy day today. Uh, that was to try to make it more inclusive and more attractive, especially with this tutorial track. So this is the, the tutorial track, and it, it, we wanted to have the tutorial track synchronized a little bit with the regular program so that the breaks overlap, right? so that the lunch and the keynote and everything overlap. There is a slight imperfection here that should not say D3 part 2, it should say Python. That introduction to Python with the Richard Roberts. And then we have the, the two, two parallel tracks there for the papers and so on. And then Friday is a single track, so it's not so uh, confusing. And of course the eight posters will be sitting in the foyer the whole time for us to look at and take photos of and those sorts of things. Another reason this is a historic event is because we will have vegan Welsh cakes. It does, some of the local organizers astutely reminded me that I mentioned Welsh cakes on the front page there, which I had forgotten actually. This is like very personal for me because I, pro I, I wanted to have fresh Welsh cakes at Eurovis 2014, but I didn't manage to do that in 2014. So this is like finally my chance to, to correct that. It didn't happen in 2014. And you can see it on the Eurovis 2014 webpage. It says something like, we might have Welsh cakes there. <laughs> I didn't say we will definitely have Welsh cakes there, but this is also sponsored by a very special local startup called The Vegan Market, which is a, just started up a few months ago. It's essentially a, a husband-wife pair working out of their kitchen, the, the house that they live in. So it's very small operation, very customized, very local, um, very special. <coughs> And I'm sure everybody here knows about the beautiful things and the beautiful scenery that Wales has to offer. If you get a chance, the best part of Swansea is the Gower Peninsula. So places like Rosilly Village, Caswell Bay, Langland Bay, Three Cliffs Bay, and Oxbridge. Is it Oxbridge? Oxbridge Bay. 
Yeah, so if you get a chance to visit those places, those are the best places in Swansea, uh, the, best, the best pieces of Swansea. Okay, this is good. So we're going to have a nice keynote speaker, Timos Kaporos, did I say that correctly? On visual analytics for the direct support of value assessment. I'm not going to say scientific things about Timos because you will hear the science from Timos himself, which is going to be much more interesting than me trying to say anything. But I would tell the story of how Timos and I met, just because I think it's kind of fun.